Hello everybody, in uh, these, these examples we're going to do um, problems where we need to find the measure of angles formed from two lines intersecting outside of a circle. And there's just a simple formula to help that work. Uh, for number one, we need to find the measure of this angle one here. Measure of angle one is simply the positive difference between the two arcs that are formed from these two lines intersecting the circle. Okay, let me just take half of it. Okay, one half, 80 minus 40. That's what we do to find the measure of that angle outside the circle. 80 minus 40 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So angle 1 is 20 degrees. Angle 2, we take one half of 160 minus 80. 60 minus 80 is 80, and half of 80 is 40. Okay, for number three, well, we have just, we have two tangents um, intersecting the circle. We know this arc is 220. If we take 360 minus 220, we get 140. So we know that this measure of the arc is 140. For the measure of angle three, one half, 220 minus 140. Okay, and 220 minus 140 is 80. 80 divided by 2, 40 degrees. Okay, now uh, this one's in a little bit reverse. Here we give you the angle measure that we're after, but we're missing one of the arc lengths. So we'll just plug it into the formula. We know that 20 degrees is equal to 1 half of 70 minus x, and I know that 70 is the larger angle for the arc, and x is a smaller one. <clears throat> so it's just a matter of solving this equation right here for x. Um, we can multiply both sides by 2 to get 40. 70 minus x equals 40. Oh, well, x must be 30 degrees. Okay, down here in numbers um, 5. Um, interesting, we have the angle that we're, we've been trying to find, 50 degrees. We have the smaller arc, but we don't have the larger arc. Now, the larger arc, we don't know. We just know the smaller one's x. The larger one is going to be 360 degrees minus x. So now we have these two expressions for these two angles, and we'll plug them into the formula accordingly. One half of the larger angle, 360 minus x, uh, minus the smaller angle, x, will be equal to 50 degrees. All right, and then 360 minus x minus x, that's 360 minus 2x. Multiplying both sides by 2 yields 100. We'll subtract 100 from both sides to get 260. We'll add 2x to both sides to get 2x. We'll divide both sides by 2 to get 130 x is 130 degrees. All right, and the last one, angle 6. Okay, well, we need to find the smaller angle. We know the larger one is 100, 110, 180. Um, if we add up all these and subtract from 360, this missing one will be 70 degrees. And so we're back to our normal formula. x is equal to 1 half of the larger minus the smaller. 100 minus 70 is 30. Half of 30 is 15. So x is 15 degrees.